I thought you might be vaguely interested in this. That is our Keurig. Outside because um, I won't let it be attempted inside. Here's our mess. And here is the cowboy coffee. The Keurig, as it turns out, was busted when we came back from the south. And so I am in the process because until we get the other pot set up, we are having to resort to what I call cowboy coffee introduced to me by my family as a child, but as an adult, I used to go hiking and all you gotta take is one of these babies, which we got from Nana. Now, um, it was one of the items we did not ask because we were told it was going to another place. So we absconded with it. Here we are, cowboy coffee, getting ready. The old ways still work when you need them to. All right, that's what we call percolating. And unlike my husband, I went to the internet to find out how long you're supposed to let it percolate for. And according to the internet, seven to 10 minutes, depending on how strong you want it. So I've put it on for eight minutes and I will not bore you for eight minutes, but we got the percolator perkin. Let's see here. Isn't that a wonderful old system? There's the water coming up through the coffee. Kind of pretty. Moment of truth. I don't know what the timer set at right now. Anyways, I'm gonna start pouring because I want it to be drinkable. Looks about like the right color. I don't know. I'm not the coffee drinker in the house. I hope it's not like mud. <laughs> Just imagine all those people in the olden days having to make coffee like this. Oh my goodness. Moment of truth. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Is it okay? Seriously? It's, delicious, it's yeah. not too strong? No, it's great. <laughs> there we are. Cowboy coffee, people.